Now, the other day, I did a review on some uh, popcorn. It was from Asda, and I think it was the uh, salted caramel uh, popcorn. And um, it was quite, uh, I think it was about a pound a bag. It was quite a big bag, and uh, it was very, very nice. And um, I said how it's uh, probably better than some of the most expensive ones out there. Well, behold, I went to the coop the other day, the co-op, and I saw some popcorn, and it is salted caramel gourmet, gourmet popcorn. Joe and Steph, there you go. Now this little 80 gram bag, 80 gram bag, right, cost me the grand total of three pound. And I said that I wouldn't really go stupid on set spending stuff um, because you know, not everybody has got the amount, the money, the, 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 that amount of money to waste on popcorn, on an 80 gram bag of popcorn. Now, if you look inside, they do look quite nice lumps of well-coated salted caramel gourmet popcorn. It's a marvellous combination of sweet and salty, so uh, Joe and Steph say, uh, se Seppies, Seppies, I thought I was a Steph, a Seppi, Seppies, Seppi, Seppi, Seph, yeah, something like that, you, you decide. Joe and Seppi, I think it says, Sephs, Sephs. Anyway, I don't know who they are. The handmade in Great Britain. Um, there's no artificial flavours, colourings or preservatives, and they are gluten-free. Uh, they're also suitable for vegetarians. So if they're suitable for vegetarians, why not vegans? Well, I wonder what's in here that... Uh, salt, butter, butter, in it? There you go. So there you have it. Um, store in a cool, dark, dry place. Open. Once open, consume within five days. Carefully, may contain unpopped kernels. Kernel Sanders. So, let's pop this open. It's, I mean, it's a nice bag and everything, isn't it? Um, it's one of them resealable ones. I think we just rip along the top there. Nice little groove in the thing to open it up. And, it, it, yeah, it's a, self, uh, it's a resealable bag. I'm going to take all the uh, packaging off because it's in the oh god hold on let me just hold the bag at the top because i'm going to rip that and the bag is going to there you go it's all going to go all over the place that's a tip for you folks if you do buy this um don't open the bag first until you've took all that off air popped corn popcorn coated with our smooth caramel and a hint of sea salt established in 2010 10 past eight Oh my God, how much? Get off. That's the point, Spider-Man. He's got that thing where he can climb up walls. How is it when he picks up a piece of paper? Like that. So, I am now into the popcorn, people. And it does smell very popcorn-y. It smells like walking around the fair and all that kind of gubbins. Let's take the one out. Mmm. Very nice. Mmm. The popcorn is nice and soft as such. The coating of the crisp caramel and the salt really is really nice um oh yeah it's really good strong nice flavor of caramel mm. wow that is a perfect blend of salty caramel uh, caramel and salt sea salt And the popcorn, although it's got a hardness to when you bite into it, it does go soft. So there doesn't seem to be any worries of breaking a, a tooth or a filling. 
and it is just so full of flavour. Oh. It's really well coated in caramel. And every one seems to be coated in the caramel and salt. Now. I must say, these are one of the best pet tasting popcorn I have had. It really is nice. It is, as a treat, as a treat, that is really, really nice. The popcorn like disintegrates in your mouth. Or melts, shall I say melts? Melts in your mouth. Disintegrating isn't really the best um, word to say, but it melts in your mouth. Folks, now this goes a bit against what I say because I do these reviews for people to economise as such, but I'm going to seal them up. Of course, I'm going to eat all that. And I do like the family to have them after me. But they are really nice. And I am tempted to buy more of them for £3 because they have got a really, really good taste, texture. They melt in the mouth. They, I can't fault them. I really can't fault these. Apart from the £3 price tag. But they are worth £3. I do go on about things saying, oh, well, that's never worth that amount of money and that's never worth that amount of money. But these are worth £3. And I, and I, I feel stupid for saying that because... Nobody in the right mind would want to pay £3 for a bag of popcorn, 80 gram bag of popcorn. But these are absolutely lovely. I'm going to have to have another one. Oh no, another one. Because they really are nice. I can't believe I'm saying it. Oh, I really, really taste it. Folks, what am I doing? I'm telling you to go and buy a packet of popcorn for three pound from the co-op. Is that good or bad? You won't be disappointed. Well, personally, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm shocked and surprised that something like this can taste so good. But it's absolutely gorgeous. So there you have it, folks. If you do see these, I would give these a go. Give these a go, a big style go. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comments at the bottom. Um, wow. Laters.